towards the inside but he's keeping up Rocco is still in the hunt as well with Benny's King out wider Wakanda trying to get a little bit closer as they took the final fence going down the back straight that was the last of the open ditches Rocco again was less than fluent and has now plummeted to the tail of the field with guitar Pete and a struggling I just know but it is uh, up in front at top Bill Ben leading the Roland Merrick field back towards the straight Two lengths ahead here then, Top Bill Ben, over Johnny Sofa, Dadiro Vallis, then in behind them, Wakanda, who's improving all the while. Out wider on the track, Benny's King is now being pushed and shoved. Lakeview Lad has work to do as they gallop back towards the final half mile of their journey. And at the moment, five of them beginning to tear off a little bit here. Top Bill Ben, Johnny Sofa, Dadiro Vallis, Wakanda, and Benny's King to the outside. They straighten up for home. They've got four more fences left to get across. And Top Bill Ben, who was uh, touched off last time out up at Newcastle, looking to go two places better here, is up and over just ahead to Johnny Sofa, one from the left is Dadiro Vallis, having been driven, Benny's King is now beginning to pick up, and he's coming into it on the far left, Wakanda with three lengths to find, is back in fifth, Top Bill Ben's got company, a three out, a bad blunder by Johnny Sofa, that might have just put him completely out of it, and Top Bill Ben appears to still travel with plenty to offer, Dadiro Vallis in the centre, Benny's King on the left, a great jump from Top Bill Ben the inside, he's still going well to Dadiro Vallis in second, then and Benny's King, they're clear of Wakanda, and Lakeview Lad who's getting a second wind, but the final fence, and a lovely jump again from Top Bill Ben, what a performance today, Top Bill Ben is four away from in second position to Dero Vallis, then in third Benny's King, but this is his patch, and it's Top Bill Ben who's going to register a third course win here at Weatherby, and this is the biggest, Top Bill Ben for Tommy Downs and Phil Kirby, beats to Dero Vallis into second, it was tight for third, Lakeview Lad down the outside of Wakanda, who's placed again. In the colours of the Harbour Rose partnership, doubles on the day for trainer Phil Kirby and Thomas Dowson on board. A three to one favourite and all the way up the straight, these two great jockeys next to me, AP, going sit tight, don't go, don't go. Well, there's no point, everyone makes mistakes and there's no point in making mistakes if you don't learn from them. And Tommy Dowson has. He sent this horse on in Newcastle and he pulled himself up. But today when he got there, he at the back of every fence, he sat back up and took him back and kept hanging on, didn't he? Yeah, and if you look at him, Looking back on the, the Newcastle run, he obviously idled in front. He obviously went, you know, he went out on his own, and when he was on his own from the from the second last to the winning post, he just was there, for no company. But basically, Lots of people don't learn from mistakes. Tommy Dowson has, and he's won a big pot today because he was went back, watched the race the last day, and learned something from it. Photo for third. We'll get details of that as soon as we can. I'm just reading about the Harbour Rose partnership, headed up by Neil Housel. Well done to everyone involved, Phil Kirby, the trainer as well, with his double.